All new at 10, a summer footwear staple that may be harmful to your health. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury explains why some doctors are giving flip-flops an F. They're easy to put on and take off, and uh, they're nice in the summer. With the heat, out comes the feet. But flip-flops get a big fat F when it comes to footwear safety. By definition, that it's kind of flapping off your foot, essentially. Dr. Zachary Vopel is a foot and ankle surgeon with Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak. He says continuous flip-flop wear can wear out your feet. Plantar fasciitis or heel pain. Uh, we can see pain in the arch, tendonitis stress fractures, and shin splints. Some problems caused by flip-flops could affect the rest of your body. Trips and falls, strains and sprains, broken bones, and things like that. You don't run on, in flip-flops, do you? No. Why not? Because you might fall. <laughs> That's right, you might fall. With children, because they're more active, we do see injuries in children because they typically tend to run around and do things that you probably shouldn't do in a flip-flop. If you plan on wearing flip-flops, Dr. Vopel has this advice. You have to be careful on stairs. Um, you don't really want to wear them for a long period of time or for lock walking long distances. I figure a couple hours. Yeah, otherwise it'd be achy and tired. If you have a flip-flop that's too small, it can cause pressure points and can lead to irritation and blisters. If it's too big, it's unstable, so you can you can slip and fall. A cushion shoe that's supportive, closed toe, it can protect from injuries, supports the foot, and can, can reduce foot pain. Okay, so I get it. Sneakers are probably your safest option, but are flip-flops just as bad as heels? I have to ask. Which is the lesser of the two evils, heels or flip-flops? Um, I would say probably flip-flops. Really? All right, I lose. Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News.